second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth is Alan Jones who has stormed up. He is now closing up on Elio De Angelis in the Essex Lotus who is behind Pironi and there is Reutemann in third position. So we're looking at the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth and the sixth as they go up through the chicane and Hector Rebuck in the Brabham who was in sixth position has gone into the pits. So Piquet on his way pulling away a little from Carlos Reutemann who has got right behind him Didier Pironi then Elio De Angelis and the Essex Lotus cars are going well in this race they're both still in the running because Mario Andretti who has had such an appalling season is in the race in about 8th position and there is Ribak rejoining coming out of the pits Giacomelli the leader behind him in the background Jody Schechter who qualified of course there he is the 1979 world champion in his last drive because this is his last Grand Prix before he retires and there is the battle for second Piquet Reutemann round the 90 then downhill a bit it's still Pironi right behind him the Ligier holding on as they go up through the chicane there's Pironi there behind Pironi is Alan Jones Alan Jones closing up on Pironi and ahead of De Angelis then so Alan Jones has started to move through the field he's really got the bit between his teeth the world champion has carved a great slice of the circuit as it were and now he is closing right up Reutemann in third position there's Pironi so it's a V12 Alfa Romeo in the lead and then the Ford V8 powered cars behind him but different makes the Brabham there of Piquet the Williams of Carlos Reutemann in third position the Ligier of Pironi then Alan Jones now is Alan Jones going to be able to close up on these three cars in front of him second the third Reutemann the fourth Pironi the fifth the world champion yes of course they get uh closer and closer to Alan's speed, he gets nearer the front of the race, each car individually gets a little bit harder to pass, but he's certainly charging well and he's got uh, all the pressure off him now, he's got the championship under his, under his belt, he'll, he'll for sure be driving with a great deal of confidence. But let us not forget as we watch this terrific band, Alan Jones coming out of Pironi's slipstream, I was added Pique, Pique off at the 90, into the catch fencing, his car stops, I can't see whether it's damaged, it probably isn't, because he wasn't going very fast. I don't know what happened there, Mario, that he just suddenly seemed to, to go off the road. I didn't know whether something went wrong with the car, whether he maybe he just got a little bit wide, because if you get a little bit offline, especially on this where they've resurfaced the track there, it gets very slippery, there's a lot of dust and rubber dust as the race progresses, and in one wheel out of line, you know, he's getting out, he's fine. He didn't, he didn't really, I'm sure the car isn't even damaged, he just, the fence just stopped for me, the fence just stopped already. Lap 25 coming up to half distance. Nelson Piquet, second in the World Championship, and he seems to be determined to go on. Waving his hand as if as if to say, come on over, give me a shove, get me out of here. Now, what's he going to do? I think if he will he be, made the now, mistake. The question is, will he be disqualified if he keeps going? Because he will have had outside assistance. He's, now, this looks like a replay. Let's watch Piquet very carefully. As he goes round the night, yes, he there is Reutemann. He's, he, he was a little bit wide going g going in there, Mario, as you saw. And you saw the puff of dust. I, I told you about the dust and the dirt being nice and s slippery there, making it a bit awkward. He got on the on the slippery stuff. There was a bit of a puff off his tyres, and uh, that was that was his trouble. He just went in a bit wide and made air. There was a lot of pressure with those four cars, all a bit quicker than him, pirate breathing down his neck. So, lap 25. PK out of the running as far as World Championship points are concerned. Maybe he's going to get back but Carlos Reutemann now is up into second place and behind him Didier Pironi in fourth position now Alan Jones and there they go into another lap with Elio De 